Good morning, all. I'm glad that you're here. We just woke up. It's like 7.30ish. So hopefully he's gonna let me put him down so that way I can make some breakfast. He brought these rings down from his bedroom. Do, should we put them down so we can play with them? That works too. <laughs> yeah. Where's the green one from? So hopefully he'll let me get some food together because usually he Yeah, he wants to be right with me. But he did sleep in his crib from 5:30 to 7 o'clock this morning before waking up and crying and then going, ah, 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 ah. So you know what? Small steps, baby steps even. I'm trying to get that kitty. You wave. Oh, you're so cute. Alexa, pause. Oh. <laughs> His sleeping has been totally weird, but maybe I just got too comfortable in a routine he falsely pulled me into. It's okay, you have two blocks still. So this morning I forgot to charge my camera, so it was charging that. We had breakfast. I let him watch Mickey while he ate breakfast because that's the kind of morning we were having. And then he wanted to immediately go O-U-T. So we went for uh, W-A-L-K. <laughs> I hope, oh, is that your green block? And then he went for a nap around 10.30 and it's, I mean, not 10.30. It wasn't because he spent, sorry. 20 minutes griping. So he's been asleep for about an hour. And usually he'd been taking two hour morning naps and an hour afternoon nap. Yesterday he took 45 minute morning nap, no afternoon nap. And the day before that he had a two hour morning nap and a four hour afternoon nap that we had to wake him up from. Well, stop dropping it on the floor. So his sleeping has just been wacky to say the least. And I just finished a Case of the Mondays edit. I missed this past week. I didn't do any media hey. stuff this past week. I didn't post my collab channel. I didn't do any editing. I didn't edit for the podcast. The only thing that I did was record a podcast, episode 19. So I just have not been doing media stuff because I've been focusing on getting myself to be a more organized person. Hey. Well, stop dropping it on the floor. And with that organization, I, I've just been focusing so much on it that I haven't been able to do much else. And now that he's not taking naps these last two days, it's being, it's, it's getting to be really hard to get stuff done. I got to do a lot of that stuff while my mom was here. Mm -hmm. Don't stand on me, sit. So we just woke up, like just as I was exporting the podcast. So I guess that kind of lined up. Because I missed an, an upload, but I, I'm okay with that because I have been organizing my life a little bit better and getting myself a little bit more organized, getting my house more organized, and it it's really helping my brain. <laughs> so it was worth it to take that week off of doing stuff, but I would like to figure out a way to incorporate it into my organized lifestyle. Organizing more, more than just my house. Okay, you're good, good to go. Gotta get out to the garden at some point, probably soon, to go pick some tomatoes, corn, onions. He's been also throwing a lot more temper tantrums lately. Can you hear me? Um, we're not climbing on the counter, thank you. You wave. Can you go get me the taco? Thank you. Hey, 
buddy. Thank you. Hello all, I'm glad that you're here. So is Owen, attached to my hip. We just finished lunch. He threw most of it on the floor and didn't eat anything. <laughs> so that was cool. Great, love that for us. He did take an hour and a half nap today, which is good because he's been struggling with his nap schedule lately for whatever reason. Not sure why. Could be teeth, I don't know. Hello schmoopers. Oh, that's a good wave. I have been putting off vlogging for a while because one, I haven't edited the last video. And last week I didn't do any media work, but mostly I'd been focusing on trying to get myself more organized because I'm a very unorganized person. And I feel like getting organized and cleaned up and everything will make being a stay-at-home mom <laughs> a lot easier and run a lot smoother, especially since I have made that decision. I made that choice to stay home and I'm lucky enough to make that choice. So I want to view cleaning up around the house and cooking food and stuff a way that I provide for my family. And I think I've just been really nervous to feel reduced to this stay-at-home mom role and really afraid of losing myself and any other value that I may have in other in other areas. So this past week I've just been really focused on organizing and cleaning and throughout this vlog you'll see that my kitchen and dining room are much more cleaned up. I finished the painting that has been unfinished in the dining room and kitchen and I'm working on the sitting room trying to get that moved around and organized and stuff like that. So I've just been focusing on that part of my life and trying to lean into this stay at home mom thing. With that being said, I'm still not the most organized person. I am learning and I'm going to try to give myself that that space to learn and grow and fail and get better and change. So that's where I am right now. That's why it's taken so long to vlog at all or edit stuff and, and whatnot. Just focusing on other things that I think in this moment are more important. Monday morning, so it's me and this bean. My mom will be down tomorrow and Dave has been working on our addition and stuff nonstop. We did some harvesting in our garden yesterday. Have big plans for the garden next year. And I think that being more organized will really help that and be more methodical and less, less haphazard with these kinds of things. I think will be a major help. Where are you going? All right, you need your diaper changed. Can you change your butt?
Alexa, hey! Play babbling brook. He's finally gone down for nap number two. He's actually sleeping and everything. It did not take him, oh, let's turn this on, I guess. It did not take him as long to, oh, hello. I'm gonna wait this window. It did not take him as long to fall asleep this time around, and I'm glad that he's getting back on a normal schedule for him. There he is, little snoozy boy. So I'm going to take this time to, I've got to clean up the living room and empty our recycling bag. And I've got my organization, cause like I've told you guys, I don't know which way to face you. Ignore this row of cans that's going to be set up behind me. The bag will fit these remaining cans, but the bin itself, does not, so I have to pull the liner out, put these remaining cans in, or every one that can fit, and then put a new uh, bag in. So like I said, I'm trying to be more organized. My bar has been cleared off, and in this spot right here, there's a little high chair seat that's strapped to the chair, and Owen can reach the bar and sit there perfectly in that seat, it's so cute. And I just had like this little vision the other morning of breakfast before school and him sitting at that bar and me making breakfast and just being real. <laughs> it really hit me in my mummy feels. Uh, so trying to be more organized, not just in my physical space, but in my mental space and in my online space and all of that. So I have my planner, I love planners. I've been all about planners. I'm gonna need a new one soon. I really loved this one. This was my first ever planner that I got that was January through December. I usually get them for the school year. I don't know why I had made the change this year for a January to December. I think it was just because I didn't use it for those tail end months, but I have until this past year used a July to June calendar a planner so this is a, a a new new me i guess 2020 the year of change i am not very good at using let me find a blank one so i'm not very good at using this area here just not very good at it at all so i have this new new way of using it so i started it on july 12th and it looks kind of crazy <laughs> I have been really liking it. It does look really wild, but let me show you this week's because it's at the top of the week, so it doesn't look as scary. I've also tried to, I'm gonna try to implement themed days again. So that's what this green is. So basically pick the day, so it starts with, these weeks start on a Monday. So everything that needs doing on a Monday that's not date specific, like record the podcast is on Wednesday, so there's no point in writing it up here. And then whatever doesn't get done will get moved to the next day. And I know that it gets moved to the next day because I put a red arrow through it. If it gets done, it gets a green X. And if I decide that I'm not going to do it or I no longer need to do it, then it gets a blue squiggle and that tells me that it's canceled and completely removed from the list. So now I'm just getting ready for the next month because Today's the last day of August for some reason. So just getting ready for what it is I want September to look like. So for September, I write like my goals on what I want to do and to accomplish and, and stuff like that, just to try to get my mindset ready for a new month. And now I'm going to dedicate my, my days of the week to different themes so that way you know, Tuesday comes around and I get to nap time. I'm, I don't go, Ugh, I don't I don't want to do blah, 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 or what should I do? Now I'll have a more structured idea of what to do. So for today, for Monday is media. So this is when I should be talking to the vlogs. This is when I should be editing, when I should do, be doing voiceovers for, for anything like that, for editing the podcast and what have you. The talk's making weird sleep sounds. Um, Tuesday is going to be my organization days, so going around the house, buying more 
um, organization bins and going through the bins that I have now and making sure that they are where they need to be. Like I have some some bins upstairs in my closet for camera stuff. I haven't been able to organize it yet. It's just haphazard and everywhere. So Tuesday during my nap time, which is my work work time, is gonna be dedicated to organization. Wednesday is food, going through taking an inventory of food, scheduling a grocery pickup, planning meals, which I have been really bad at lately. Thursday is my laundry dishes, just go through and blitz and make sure that every single dish is done at the end of the day, go through and do the big bulk of the laundry. If I can't get it all done, then that's fine. It's whatever, it is what it is. Fridays for family, don't know what that is gonna, uh, entail yet especially during free time whether that just means like I'm gonna sit around and play sims if Dave's not here or if Dave is here to spend time with him and I'm gonna talk to him see if I can make Friday like our day off I don't know we'll see Saturday's outdoor work so tending to the chickens going out to the garden turning the compost things like that um, more of like a homestead type of thing and Thursday's more like the homemaking indoor stuff and then Sunday is going to be for softball. The fall league is starting back up September 13th with COVID guidelines and it's outside. It's there are ways to, to make it safe. I typically play the outfield. I'm very far away from people and I'm going to bring hand sanitizer with me. So I'm very excited for fall ball. So I need to get back in shape. So uh, <laughs> from now until the 12th, it's going to be preseason where I'm going to hopefully be getting like workout bits in. This is going to be a very chatty video. I don't feel like um, actually showing you things and doing stuff like that. Uh, I hope you don't mind. It's just me trying to get organized, I think, at the end of the day. And I really need to get my life organized before I can focus on making my vlogs more organized and stuff like that. I think just priorities, man. Priorities are different. So once everything else gets more organized, like my house and the outside of my house and the new parts of my house and my basement, my closet and my car, <laughs> then hopefully that will spill over into media stuff, especially since the podcast, we're doing our last record for season two on Wednesday. That's gonna be it for the podcast. And I really want to sit down and outline a plan for what these vlogs will look like. And I feel like I've been saying that for forever, but I, I think about it every day. <laughs> I think about the fact that I would like to be vlogging, but I don't feel like I'm, I'm storytelling in a way that is enjoyable to watch for you, people of the internet, and especially for me. And I go back and I watch my vlogs. I like reliving stuff. I like seeing things that I have maybe forgotten and especially with own like I'm just finding I got I have to find a new way to do it I need to find something else that will work for this and I don't know what that looks like I don't think that my former linear form of editing is going to be the way and I think that it just comes down to me becoming better at editing and maybe learning different ways to do it and stepping outside of my box and just trying to like loosen my brain up enough to to wrap my head around a different style so that is is where i am right now being a stay-at-home mom stepping into this idea of a homemaker homesteader and, and like i said earlier it's just a bit scary to to feel like i'm i don't know <laughs> i don't know i just it, it's it's definitely hard work and I don't want to take that away from anyone who is more skilled at homemaking than I am. Domestic engineering, if you will. I like that term way better. But it was never part of my initial life plan to be in this position. So it's just about, I don't know, understanding it in a way and understanding myself in this role. and not feeling like I am reduced to this role and I'm not stepping into this gender role conformity, which I have like railed against my entire life and still be me in the process, which I think I like, I will be, I have a very supportive partner and I've got softball and a supportive family unit 
and I know that I am ultimately making the right decision for me and I just don't want to I just don't want to step into gender roles I just don't want to I think that's my biggest thing I just don't want to I've spent like my whole life rallying against it and I don't want to feel like I'm giving into it because I know that I've made a solid choice and I know that I've made the right choice I know in the long run the career I have had will still be there whether or not it's at the same school or not would be a different thing but I know that that isn't going anywhere and now I feel like I've just given myself more time to think about what I want to do professionally after domestic engineering <laughs> but yeah that's a little sneak peek into what I've been doing what I've been up to what I've been working on trying to incorporate media into I just I don't think that it's ever going to be lucrative for me I think that it's always going to be a hobby however that doesn't mean that I don't want to be good at it <laughs> I just want to be better at it I guess okay this is waffly enough and I think that that's really gonna be it for me so thank you for watching and I will see you next time Okay. Leave it in there.